Hello, so welcome back to our series of tutorials. So in this tutorial, I will discuss about the forward, backward, and central, central difference, which is used in numerical methods. This type of method is used for finding the derivative of a function. Say, for the forward difference, the formula would be the point of interest plus the step size, which is 1 here, minus the point of interest all over the change of uh, x, which is also the um, our slope. Now, for the backward difference, that would be the point of interest minus the point of interest minus our step size all over the change of x, our slope again. And for the settled difference, that would be the average of the forward difference and the backward difference, which is the um, point of interest plus the step size minus the point of interest minus, minus the um, step size all over twice the slope. So if we plot it here, you can see that for a forward difference that would be around here, central difference would be in the middle, and backward difference, of course, that would be in the back. So here we are, we have a function. Say x squared plus 2x at x equals 3, and step size is 1. Our x3 here is our point of interest, and our step increment is 1. So if we... Um, uh, put it down here. X of one would, would be the, would be three, and the change of x would be one. Uh, point of interest plus our step size would be four, three plus one, and our point of interest minus the step size would be three minus one, which is equivalent to two. So moving on, um, in order to solve that, first we're going to find the value of this function: point of interest plus the step size, point of interest minus step size and our point of interest. So here I'll, I've already computed it. I'm just going to write it down. Function of x sub y minus 1, f of 2. Function of x sub i and function of x sub i plus 1 here. Uh, this would be 3. And for this one, which is for now we have values of x, which is 2, 3, and 4. We're just going to substitute it here in our given equation, x squared plus 2x. For this one, 2 squared plus 2 times 2, that would be 4, 4, this would become 8. Uh, 3 raised to 2 plus 2 times 3, which is 9, 6, this would be 15. And for the last part, which is 4 raised to 2 plus 2 times 4, 16 plus 8, that would be 24. So now that we have the values for the function evaluated at 2, 3, and 4, we are going to substitute this 8, 15, and 24 in our equation here for the forward, backward, and central difference. So for the forward difference, that would be our x function of x of i plus 1, which is 24. 24 minus our point of interest 15 all over our change of x, which is 1. Change of x plus 1. So this would become 24 minus 15, that would be 9. Our value for the forward difference would be equivalent to 9. So for the backward difference, we have the point of interest. Point of interest here is 15. Minus the point of interest minus our step size. This part, that would be 8 divided by 1. So 15 minus 8, that would be 7. And for the central difference, that would be uh, 24 minus 8 our um, f uh, point of interest plus our step size minus our point of interest minus step size all over twice, don't forget that, times 1 so this would become 16 divided by 2 which would be equivalent to 8 and if we calculate this using calculator compute this using a calculator rather, the closest answer to this would be that of the central difference, which is the average of 
So that is for forward, backward, and central difference. Also, for our Alstom's method, the same procedure happens. Uh, Russell's method is used for solving differential equations. Just to put it up here, uh, it's very easy, you know. Um, I'll just give you the formula for it, and you could easily know it by looking at my other videos for the Rujkuta method, for the midpoint method, which is identical to the Ralston's method. So for the Ralston's method, here, I'm just going to write here Ralston's method. I just want to make it clear to you that this is a separate uh, topic for this part. Well, this is for finding the derivative and Ralston's method is for the differential equations, but I'm also putting it here since I've already had other tutorials which tackled about differential equations and it's very similar. You just have to know the uh, formula for it and just do it. Okay, so for this one, uh, that would be for finding the y, it would be i plus 1 is equal to y i plus 1 third k1 plus 2 third k2 multiplied by our h and then for finding k1 that would be a function of x sub i y sub i and for finding k2 that would be the function of x sub i plus 3 fourths of h and y sub i plus three-fourths of k-i-h. So this is for the Ralston's method. Here's going to have memory. So that's it for this tutorial. Again, thank you for watching this and review your Ralston's method.